This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view. In 3, A2, A1. I'm hoping I finally got the Aaliyah makeup line. Uh, Aaliyah. A. K -k -k L. K -k -k I. K -k -k y. K -k -k A. K -k -k oh shit, I spelled her name wrong. It's two A's. Shit. H. Oh. Y'all get it, Aaliyah. Oh. Oh, bitch, hold on. It says Mac. Girl, hold on. Is it getting hot in here? Or is it just your breath? Hold on. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, God. That was worth the fall. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, oh. A tribute to the beloved R&B icon and the generation she inspired. <gasps> Your love is a one in a million. Back, back, forth and forth. If your girl only knew. We need a resolution. We need a resolution. I'm writing you a four page let Girl, I can't bitch. Girl, what kind of Illuminati signal? O M Y. Oh. Aaliyah, in your words, I care for you. Okay, you may have hit the note a little better. Oh, um, yeah, no, for real, Aaliyah, how do you open it? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh my God, they did this. They did that. Y'all did that, man. They asked what you did. That. <laughs> Take an exclusive first look at the new Aaliyah app. Oh, she has an app. Okay. But Aaliyah, does your app go like Grinder? Can I get a man? No? Okay. It's Aaliyah.com hyphen app. Oh, yeah, Beyonce, you don't have a Mac line. Uh-oh, what's that noise? Oh shit, this is the beehive, they coming, girl. Girl, get Aaliyah, swipe them away, girl. Die, bam, pop. Oh. 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 Oh, this color is beautiful. Yes, ma'am. I don't recall Aaliyah wearing a color like this. Oh, it's called At You Best You Are. Oh, my God. At your best, you are love. Hey. Okay. Oh, this is like a gold diamond. It's called Brooklyn Born. Oh. <laughs> somebody on my live video, I'm on live, as y'all know, somebody said, this is the happiest we've seen, Nina. The last time I remember her being that happy was when Shea Kool-Aid lost. Oh. <laughs> but where's the lie? This is where the problem comes with you, Nina. Oh, and a lipstick. You know, they always have to have the signature lipstick. Oh, it's like a dark, like, purple. It's called Street Bang. It's a frost lipstick, okay. <gasps> and they give you an Aaliyah, a Aaliyah headband like she wore all the time. Oh my God, a bandana, I'm sorry. I'm gonna wear this. Lily's Motor City. Okay. More than a woman. Oh. Age ain't nothing but a number. Eyeshadow palette. I mean, it kind of looks like some colors that I've seen at MAC before. Oh. You know, I have to be honest on my channels. But we're gonna still work with this. I'm just grateful for the first time in my life. Oh, gosh, it's a lot in here, child. Hot like fire. Oh, yes, ma'am. That's my song. Hot like 
fire. Oh, no, no, no. Yes. And you got some pencils. Follow your heart, lip pencil. Oh, never more. Never no more. Oh, goodness. It never ends. Like some of my bottom's holes. Try again. Yep. That's what RuPaul told me. Try again. Oh. One in a million. Okay. It looks like another darker color. What is this? Baby girl bronzing powder. Oh. Y'all, okay, y'all. Y'all showed Aaliyah some love. Y'all didn't just y'all didn't just give her some bull. And oh, and it has her signature in the middle of it. Yes. So yes, we are putting on some blood. Oh no. Oh, oh, the bronzer. I'm using the bronzer on the palette. It actually turns out to work because I painted myself lighter. So for a lighter tone, this bronzer will work for you. So we are contouring and contouring, mama. No, oh, oh, not the zoom in. Oh, come on, professional, professional. Never mind. Eyeshadow palette. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yes, putting on um something. Oh. <laughs> good. Doing it and doing it and doing it good. I knew a young girl. She came from Brooklyn. Yeah, that didn't work. I can't even see it. Oh. Um, I'm putting on the um yeah, the nude one. <laughs> I'm actually doing like swatches on my channel on the camera so I'm a little excited about it look at me being a professional so we're gonna swatch this lip liner and this is the color what's called follow your heart I'll just show you let's follow your heart it's like a berry red the next one is going to be Never No More. Never No More. Very dark purple, almost black. The next is the lipstick, and this is going to be More Than A Woman. I almost hate using them, I don't wanna use them. That's More Than A Woman, right there. Cute. And this is Hot Like Fire. I almost feel like the Hot Like Fire should have had like some orange in it, little yellow tones for fire, but it's cute right up there at the bottom. The next one, Street Thing. Yeah, this would go perfect with, with the Never No More. <laughs> it's so funny seeing it. I'm like light skin here and like dark here. I can't. Let's move on to the glosses. This is one in a million. Yeah, I would put this on top of Street Thing. This is Lily's Motor City. I don't know what this exactly, what that means. I should be ashamed of myself. I'm an Aaliyah fan. And I don't know what that means. Very peachy nude. And the reason why I chose to do like more so this kind of like neutral, natural Aaliyah look is because a lot of her looks were very just natural. It's hard to transform to her because she doesn't really have standout like features. She's a really pretty girl. And she always does very neutral looks, so yeah. This is the Brooklyn Born. I'm not sure how good this will show because this is like a diamond pearl nude, but let's see. And I'm actually right now wearing on my lips a mixture of the Brooklyn Born and the Lily Motor City together on my lip now with a chestnut liner, which made this color. So that's the Brooklyn Born, if you can see that. And the last lipstick is going to be At Your Best. I'm really surprised that MAC chose such bold colors because i never seen her wear dark, dark lips, but she was a mysterious girl and she was dark at times. So I could see her doing that if she was still here, you know, experimenting with new colors, new hairstyles. Uh, I wish she was still here. And the eyeshadows. This is gonna be a little hard to do. It's probably no point of doing this because I don't know the name of them. Yeah, I'm not gonna do the, <laughs> I'm not gonna do the shadows, but as you see, here they go. A couple of neutral and a couple of like, I see nighttime kind of looks. Um, I could see somebody recreating the, we need a resolution look with this eyeshadow. 
the smoky eye or even the try again video i would have preferred they had put a black in there but what are you gonna do so yeah that's that and it's some good color so mac cosmetics y'all did a good job thank you for Thank you for actually listening to the petitions and to the people's voices and putting out this product because we really are happy about it and thank you so much, so yeah. So as always, stay beat, stay beautiful, stay at your best. You don't have to throw in a little Aaliyah. <laughs> and stay blessed and stay loved. Mwah. See you next time. Hey guys, it's me, Pierre, a.k.a. Nina Boy, Nina Banana, Fafana, Osama Bin Laden Brown. And we are back for another raw view of Painted with Dark Mode Raven episode. You know I never know the episode don't come for me, girl. Welcome back, piggies. Y'all know how we do here. Yes, come here, keep it cute, keep it mute, or you will get the boot. Share your opinions. I want to hear your opinions, but let's keep it cute, okay? We can agree to disagree. So glad to see you guys again. Once again, I will be in New York. Yes, yes, yes. Right next to Gina Thompson House. Yes, yes, yes. The, we like them short. We like them tall. Yes, yes, yes. Um, at Club Paragon this Thursday. <laughs> and I might have a surprise booking Friday also in New York. Don't quote me because I have not made this official. I don't know. I'm just putting it out there for now. And I also mentioned in my other Raw View for Drag Race that I may be starting like a makeup a little fun, like simple, simple weekly kind of makeup thing. Like, it, depending on how many people do it, it could be like, I don't know, I'll choose the top five or whatever. And it'll be like, I'll come up with a theme or you have to re recreate one of my looks. And um, whoever wins will get a used condom or something. I don't know. Um, we'll have to think about that part, actually. I have a couple of merch left, a couple of shirts left. I have some monkey shirts and I have, that's all I have, monkey shirts. <laughs> So maybe I can give some of those out or I can even sell some of those. But anyway, y'all let me know if y'all are interested in maybe joining that. Then just message me on Instagram. That's all. And once again, I read all the tips and all that on my Drag Race Raw View videos. So if you want to hear your name, hear your shout out for your tips, that's on their video. So thank you in advance. And if you would like the tip, all that information is once again in the description box down below. Thank you in advance. Tip me because I'm going to New York. I need money to buy my Tim's. I think I have some comments. Uh, yes, yeah, school in the careless bears. Not the careless bears. <laughs> when the makeup artist did the care bear looks. <laughs> the girls are funny They're this Easter. Everyone kept telling Luna how stunning she was. And in the end, no one wanted to pick her. The fakery, the empty, meaningless comments. What happened to being real? And I think that's what also made her getting to her feelings that everybody was saying that she was so good and so sickening, yet she could tell that nobody wanted to choose her to be on their team. And that made her further go into her zone and why she left. This is so random, but wanted to say, but I just wanted to say that I really admire you blocking people in order to set boundaries and help your mental health. I don't know why it's so stigmatized in today's culture. I be blocking everyone and they get so hurt, even though they say dumb s. Exactly. You gotta get your keep your boundaries. Like some people don't care. They'll just like read me all day. I don't care as long as you give me views. I'm getting paid. I'm like, no, I don't want you on my channel. Period. Beat it. <laughs> Like, uh, girl, F your view, get out of here. Beat it, girl. Luna, in my opinion, is doing way too much. If I had a client and hired Luna, do a client's makeup, if the makeup was not what we liked and we asked Luna to do it over again, is this how they would act? I would have fired Luna and walked her off the premises. How can these people want to be on a makeup competition show and act this way? Raven coddling Luna is very unprofessional and just makes me laugh at these constant contestants and producers. Show is trash. Thank goodness Nina's Rob you here. Well, yeah, the way Luna was acting would have got her fired. Like, for real, for real. Like, she was doing too much. Like, so, like, if the art, if, if somebody didn't like your makeup and you're doing their makeup, you're going to just storm off or cry and, like, no. Oh, wait, I forgot. This is also, <laughs> I can't. This is also a raw view for the Meet the Belgium Queens. I forgot about that. Yeah, so this is a two part raw view <laughs> Belgium Queens and Painted with Dark Mode Raven. Let's get to it. I love the like Sailor Moon esque kind of like vibe going on. It's really nicely done. No shade, no tea. Amanda Bears just looks like somebody who just started doing drag. <laughs> it was like when they, were, when they were showing like the nebula and all that, it was like, okay, wow. But then when the regular light comes on, I'm just like, girl, where's the makeup? 
Like it's like she's just focused on her eyes. I like the no right lemon. I don't know if she's trans, so I don't want to say anything, but I like the tears. The tears are cool. I do like the illusion of the 3D tears. But it's like, girl, where's your makeup? I just see, like, honestly, for real, I see a guy that put two po two pigtails on. But, um, yeah. Amanda Tears. Okay. Wait, is she going to have tears in all her looks? Athena. Once again. The lighting. The light. I don't. These are. Oh, gosh. I hope none of the people are trans. These are. I'm, I'm just getting dudes. I'm getting dudes. Dudes. And then, like, why would you highlight the areas of your face that's much more manlier? The jaw. I can't. I want to buy it, but, like, honestly, it's just, like, you know, this kind of body suit, but then, like, the black thing with the cape is doing all the work. I'll rent it. Brittany Van Botox. Brittany Van Botox. Girl, if Jeffree Star and Alaska Thunder F had a baby and left it at Taco Bell. I can already tell by looking at her that she's campy and probably funny. Those brows. Oh my God, they are so bad. <laughs> so, uh, still, I, I just see dude. Oh, what, what's happening in Belgium? <laughs> Somebody said it's the girl from Lazy Town. Why do I see it? <laughs> I do see it. Perfectionist. Her outfit. I mean, it's kind of cute. I'll rent it. We got drag cool wing. A dude again. <laughs> but the makeup is something about the makeup I kind of like because it looks dewy. Somebody says she kind of looks like Donna Donatella Versace. The hands are telling her age. Girl, the hand said, I've been working on the railroad all the day, day long. Girl, the hands are 74 years old. <laughs> Not the chest here. I cannot. She, I can tell that as a guy, he's nasty. Like, he's into the fist thing. Um, the pup mask. <laughs> Spit on me. All that. I see it. <laughs> Girl, I see it. I, it's hard to make out these outfits because they're not really showing them, as you can tell. So I don't know, but from what I can see, no, they're going to pass on this. You guys, I promise you, I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm just not impressed so far. I'm just not. Like, I'm just like, it seems like a parody of drag queens. It seems like a parody of drag race. Like, somebody said it seemed like an SNL skit. <laughs> it doesn't really seem like. I'm like, how long have these girls been doing drag? Seriously. We got Edna, so she's on. Edna, okay, like, she's not too bad, but it's like, you could tell that WoW did not care about these girls because, first off, the Meet the Queens in total is nine minutes. They didn't give them no filter or nothing. They only have filter when they're showing them in the nebula parts, but then when they get into this light, it's like, ooh. <laughs> but she looks like she's funny. And we'll have a fun time. Um, the wig, I don't know about. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Somebody said <laughs> Kelly Mantle's aunt. She looks younger than Kelly Mantle. Stop it. Ah, oh, you hear Star Trek fish. Another outfit that's hard to see. But I think I'll rent it. We have Mademoiselle. Boop. Boop. This is the only drag queen I see so far. I can just tell. Like, she looks like she's been doing drag for a while. Once again, the jaw area could use some makeup. But this is the only person I see looking doing drag. The outfit, I like the little head pieces and designs. But honestly, the outfit looks like a graduation robe that she just put some stuff to. But yeah, I'm like, okay, this is a drag queen. And to me, she kind of looks like uh, older, just version of like Air April Kirion. Some people said Bendela. I don't see Bendela, but I do see April a little bit. Je mange, drive, je bois. It's the awkward poses for me. <laughs> you know, they were laid out on a green screen table, all uncomfortable. 
morning. Hey, Mocha. Hey, Bonnie. I can't. <laughs> so this is where Matthew went. <laughs> when I see the eyebrows are rough in Belgique, it's, I love the contacts. The contacts are really pretty. They're really pretty contacts. I want those. Y'all know how I feel about bearded queens. I mean, y'all already know this. And some bearded queens do give you more drag in the face. This person is not giving me drag in the face at all. I, like, at all. Like, there's like, like nothing. I don't see anything that's changing. I love the wig. Ow, is she the dancing queen? Uh, it's, it's hard to say with the outfit, but I think I'll rent it. Was that a waffle? I live for the name just Peach. There's always going to be a girl like this in every season. Like the Aquaria, the Christopher Sache, the, you know, like, like just the youngest girl who's, they all kind of just seem the same. In every season, there's going to be a girl like this. Sixteen. Only she's a little rough. <laughs> but you can tell she's like been following the girl's makeup trends. You know, you can tell. But even, yeah, like she, like, I don't know. It's still something with like, the girls are not as feminine. It's a lot of fillers for real. It's a lot of fillers. She's like one of those like, you know, like I want the kind of like prostitutes who, you know, they have all the work done and they have a Russian um, sugar daddy. And <laughs> she almost looks like the cat woman. You know that cat woman that had all that work done? But this is the cat woman when she was in high school. Before, before she kept doing the makeup. Okay, so we have the weird queen. Her wig is making me hot. <laughs> um, okay. So far, this is the best makeup. <laughs> but only because, like, she looks the most fishy, honestly. The outfit, though, I'm like, is it missing something? Let me see. I'm gonna tell you, it's making everybody teeth look yellow. But especially when you have on when you have on colored paint, it does that sometimes. She says she one of her shrinks are comedy, so we should see. Yeah, I think the outfit needs more of those little chains to hang down because it just looks kind of like an afterthought. Doesn't really seem together. Girl, what in Madonna from a league of their own, who got punched in the face by Rose, by Rosie O'Donnell? <laughs> <laughs> well, she definitely kind of gives me Madonna. <laughs> oh, she definitely, she looks like a old time person. That's why I'm saying Madonna from A League of Their Own. Like she looks like Madonna, like, like, like one of those old, like a Betty Boop, like that kind of like, she has that old timey feature, like the Betty Boop kind of like face. And, you know, she looks like from another time piece, honestly. Oh, looks, 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 makeup, the mug, the hair, and shine. Well. She's confident. non-binary <laughs> people, I think, like... Oh, I get... She said something about non-binary and trans. I, 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 I guess. <laughs> well, <laughs> that was the Meet the Queens of Belgique. What do you guys think? I'm not impressed. And I just wanted to do this Meet the Queens. I don't know if I'm watching the season. I, I Girl, I can't. Maybe one episode. I don't know, but good luck, girls. Good luck, girls out there. Good luck. Let's get the painted with Dartmoor Raven. It's not in this. I am sorry. What do you... Yo, Luna's somehow still haunting us. <laughs> She's still not gone. I came here to show that I'm a fucking... This is the first time I came here to show that I'm an effing superstar. Superstar. Cited by Anastasia Beverly Hills and a cat. Girl, who is this black woman? Now, I'm sorry, for real. Raven looks truly black here. Like, this looks like the lady, what was her name? Loudmouth, Loudmouth something on, on Hairspray. But on Hairspray, she had blonde hair. This is like some, the black Loudmouth lady who said, come on out and do the mashed potato. I mean, she looks cute, but yeah, like this is a black woman. I'm all right, child. I'm gonna be all right. Okay, yes. Well, she looks a little lighter there in that light. <laughs> First up, Nikki Nick. Nikki Nick. I like this. I guess she used Twizzlers. They had to do like a candy look, like some kind of wax kind of candy. 
this seems like it was a lot of glue and annoying. I like this. You know, I said I kind of did like my sugar skull candy look. It tastes just like candy. But, yeah, y'all like this, yeah. It's definitely a, 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 a look, god dang. What did that tongue do? I don't want to find out. This is, I mean, it's kind of artsy in a way. I, I mean, I kind of like it. <laughs> Sweet or sour. Uh, I don't really care for this, no. It's like, it's more makeup than candy. Like, what's the, yeah, no. And what is the stuff on his, like, what is that, red, what? Like, what, what, what? Elena. Elena has not really been impressing me that much. Maybe that first episode when he did the whole half-half thing, but, like, she hasn't really been, like, living up to, like, the height that people have been saying for me so far. Like, this is just, like, uh... I'm gonna just put love on my face and then just put a couple of sprinkles on me and call it a day. I mean, I kind of like the drip out, the, the drip effect on the forehead, but that's about it. All right. this, look up and this is simple, but I definitely love the lip. The lip is cool, but it's kind. Of, it, it, I might say it's kind of boring. I mean, it's simple. You know, like she didn't do too much. Like, and you know, most makeup. People, they like simple stuff, so they can relate to this. Like, it's simple. I don't know if I really care for the coloring choice for the contour, but um, it's simple. I I kind of like it. I definitely love the lip. The lip idea is cool. I mean, they're using candy, but, like, the look isn't giving me candy. You know, it's just like, it's not giving me candy, but they're using some candy. Like, it's, it's okay. Wow. That wow was so dry and unimpressed. Tucker. <laughs> now Tucker wins for this. I, <laughs> I would have probably gave it to, you know, another dang names. The person with all the um, twizzers on the face because it, it was very artsy and clean. As to, this, There is something artsy about this that's, I could see like a museum painting of this. I can, because it's very weird and like disturbing. But I'm like, out of all the looks that he's done before that y'all paid us, like when he did like the black and white look that should have been top, but then you didn't get, but you give him top for this and it's kind of messy, right? Like, like, like something about this, like something, something about this is messy, you know? And the other person spent all that time gluing all the licorice on their face. I'm surprised she didn't choose um, Ariana, but congrats Tucker representing a zodiac sign chosen at random so the girls have to do an astrology with zodiac signs assigned to them using jewels and stuff to kind of do it the challenge is literally screaming q girl let's see what they do y'all better turn it now q would you really turn it though <laughs> we can't forget the chicken the only thing i know really about gemini's i've always been told that they're like two-faced girl you know you, you know you're gonna do a two-faced look <laughs> Like, come on now. <laughs> You're going to end up doing a two-faced look, pretty much. I would literally do, you know, um, the little happy and sad, frowning, like, theatrical kind of, like, mask. I would just do that. One side would be happy. The other side would be sad or frowning. Simple. Or or an evil expression. That's what I would do. I feel bad for some of them having to take all that glue off with the candy and now do another look. Mm-mm. And honestly, being that I'm cancer, I think what I would do is like draw a bunch of crabs and some fake little crabs and glue them around my pubic area and have crabs to represent cancer. It's like it's a dream and let that influence this. Why is he here? <laughs> they just wanted to put on some cute um, wee ho guy just to be there for no reason. <laughs> hey, you busy? Come on extra pressure to make her proud and of course the so far that bull looks good negative picture look so gemini's are too okay that's kind of a cool idea i don't get it gemini thing but like the negative picture look i'm kind of seeing the negative effect of it that's a good technique he's trying to do i'm like okay cool cool i would have never thought about doing a negative picture effect self-made freedom that freedom supports you doing first <laughs> why her face looks so deadpan 
<laughs> Maybe it's the prosthetic. Kind of freaking out just a little bit because if I... But what's the wrong with making it literal in a way? Like, it's nothing wrong with that. Like, you can still make it literal, but still make it artsy, you know? It's fucking bubble wrap. Not sending them a whole paint of Raven box with just bubble wrap. <laughs> oh, hey, thank you, Raven. You forgot. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I thought... Why does Q have anything? Ain't he muted? <laughs> Why he had a box? Incorporate this twist in my look, and nothing's really coming to me. I'm really confused on right. Like his colors are all blue and white and gray, and you know, when add green, like what? I can use it with my look without the bubble wrap being. Oh, clever! But are they going to want to see the bubble wrap? <laughs> An entrepreneur. It. Dame Patrick look like a mannequin. <laughs> she is. Oh my girl, when she is waiting to speak, or just smiling. Like a newscaster. Yeah, Dan, thank you for having me. Today's weather is going to be in the lovely 70 degrees. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I see fire in her eyes. <laughs> Elena has Sagittarius. I felt, oh, hey, this probably would look good in pictures if she had more time, but the clouds are a little, like, messy. Those, like, cloud parts, or whatever, are a little. They're a little messy, but I'm, I'm quite sure if she had more time, she could do it better. I like the fire with the eyelids. Like, it's okay. Eleganza, extravaganza, on fire. She's so into drag race right now. Look at her dialogue. <laughs> Dang, I don't like the face with this. Cause like, uh, like I'm, it's so weird because like, I thought she she looks like what what Q and Luna did not Luna but T uh, Tucker did last week, where they kind of look like random deers, and then when she was doing the bull and it was like her skin tone, I thought she was going to color the bull in and make it look like really like realistic whatever. I don't really care for like just the white flat bull. It could have been added some color in that and stuff. The face could have just been cool being a regular face with some with some cute makeup or if everything. But there's something she did use the flowers on the bull head, so that's kind of smart. But the best part to me of this is the coloring of her body to make it look like a nebula. That's the best part to me. Lauren, I think she's Taurus. I think or what is she? What is she? Cap Capricorn, I think Capricorn. I kind of like this. Like, yeah, it's literal, I guess, but I kind of like it. It's kind of, it's something a little cool about it. Oh, oh, she's Aries. Sorry, she's Aries. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. I'm not too mad at it. No, I'm not too mad at it. The texture with the prosthetic, I think it's probably a little off because maybe it's not smooth, but I'm not too mad at it. Yo. I know, so he's trying to make it seem like he's a beach and then there's water coming through the beach. It had it had been betterly, uh, like not be not betterly, <laughs> had it had like been done a little better, I would like this. But it's like you really wouldn't know until you're really looking at it. But it's supposed to be like, yeah, like a beach and then the water on one side. Like the concept is cool, the execution I don't know could probably be a little better. But cancer is also water, so yeah, I mean, you know. I'm giving you Capricorn. I'm giving oh, he's Capricorn. Sorry, y'all. Capricorn. Wow. This is like art. Yeah. Tucker loves doing those like fish lips like, mm, um, yeah. Mm, mm, got lips like Jay-Z. Mm, y'all. I don't like this. This is honestly no shade, no tea. It's kind of sloppy. Especially in the face area. The face area is sloppy. Like the white part in the face with the lines. Like Elena's one looked a little better because I see that Elena and him both have that star pattern thing on their forehead. The best part from what I'm looking at, honestly, is that left shoulder part with the blue. And it almost looks like a nebula ocean with the green specks on there. I think that's beautiful. But with the face, it's a little... Uh, and then the paper thing he stuck on could probably be a little better. Um, drawn on there. So yeah, no. Cause she she did Gemini. I can I I guess you can kind of see Gemini. I guess cause like the negative side is like you know the negative part you know Gemini. And then the other side is like 
But it's just like, I don't really get it. It's a, maybe it's too artsy for me, but I do like how they try to do like the negative effect. I think that's cool. The bow and arrow's cute. I, I didn't even notice it the first time, but it's cute. <laughs> Now, Ari is an earth sign and got flowers. Dang, Ari, serious. She painted her whole palm. Okay. I just made him out of foam and some, uh, like, bendable metal. That's kind of cool, using the bended wire over the phone to make it look like horns. Beauty. I want to cry. I'm just... You look so beautiful, bitch. What? <laughs> you can barely see her face. Like, <laughs> what? I can't. It's like all the other looks Tucker has done where she has looked pretty. You pay it does, and then this look where you can barely see her face. She's like, oh, I cry. Like what? Top of it, and then I like smushed it and popped some of them. I'm up. sorry, this looks messy. Tucker, no shade, girl. I I know it feels good to hear that from Raven, but you have done better looks than this on this season, and they pay does, and it's like this is it. No. Ooh, you gave me good head today. Nothing. I don't want to picture Patrick Star getting good head. I don't want to picture it. All laid back in a turban, pushing the bottom's head down. Ew. You know, Patrick has a makeup called One Size. And, oh, my TV is a ghost, I tell you. And, you know, I said about her getting, you know what, she said, but Patrick, I don't know if it'll fit in my mouth. Patrick says, it will. It's one size fit all. <laughs> I hate it. Raven almost cried looking at mine. They made me tear up. They liked it so much. Oh. <laughs> Oh. The box of coal. Well, I live for that shot. That shot is good. And that shot is sickening. I can see that in like some kind of like magazine or something. And then it, like this is a Sunday, and there's a little cherry on top. Well, I hate how this look are the stones. The stones just look like those cheap, like, you know, we all have those stones. Like, the way, they, they just look cheaply on her, the stones, like on, like on her body. There's no like real design to it. It's just like, bloop, 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 bloop. So fierce. It's beautiful. Next I mean, that light, it makes it worse. Next up, Tucker. Aquarius, air sign. Mm, I'm not. <laughs> Why would Patrick want to laugh? She's like, Raven, I know you're not being serious, girl. And it actually brings an emotion. This brought to <laughs> Patrick is not impressed. You won this week's challenge by a finger. Oh. <laughs> Tucker almost made you cry, and she still lost. Lord, poor Tucker. <laughs> poor Tucker. Now, Joe is my baby, and. Not my baby. For this week's quick paint challenge, I want you to create an ombre lip. Nikki and Ari in the bottom. I'm confused. I like they I like they were praising his um negative side look. Out of everybody there. I, I guess, but yeah, they're in the bottom. Oh, okay, they have to do an ombre lip. Okay, cool. I thought I thought they already, they already did an ombre lip, I could have sworn. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, they have done this already, but it may have been this Girl, <laughs> girl, that's a Buddha hoe. Like, what kind of what kind of shape did he even give the yellow and the pink one? What is the shape? And then the red one, like, I don't know, I'm getting more. I, I guess I'm getting more ombre in the yellow and pink. I don't know. The shape is better on Ariana's, but both ombres are just okay. But the shape is better on Ariana's. I think whatever the kind of paper and what they're making them use is not going good on the paper and it's hard to blend it and stuff like that. Ariana, then you are safe to paint next week. Ariana won, yeah. I mean, the shape and everything was better, so I have to give it to her. You are also safe next week and will not be muted. I can't. I know Chicken Man is mad, so y'all mute me. But y'all gonna mute him, though. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they even showing him mugging? All muted with no makeup on, trying to mug. <laughs> Another episode, I guess. Two more episodes. Two more episodes to go. Painted with Dartmoor Raven. <laughs> Thank you for the ones who have been tuning in to watch these raw views. Hope y'all enjoyed. If any Belgian girls watch this, I'm sorry. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. I tried my best. <laughs> and um, some of y'all I was seeing in New York, and then raw views maybe empty this week because I'll be traveling and doing other things so and then my computer I'm going to have to take that computer and have it shipped off for a couple of days or a week or so so yeah 
Sorry about that. Just letting y'all know. So yeah, stay beat, stay beautiful, but most importantly, stay blessed. Kima Cho or Kamochi. Bye. Guys, my tits are so swollen from the snow.